What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and I have some great news for everybody. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.2 beta one and two on any device. Now the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of you guys have updated to iOS 8.1.3, which is a non-jailbreakable firmware. Well, the good news is you can update to 8.2 from 8.1.3 and jailbreak it untethered using a beta firmware. Now it sounds worse than it is. I know these are beta firmwares, However, they're still very stable and you could be sitting on them for a while until the final release of 8.2, which will also be jailbroken. And then you guys can jailbreak on that version as well. But in the meantime, this is as good as it's going to get. I mean, it's a full jailbreak on the iOS 8.2 firmware. And let me just show you something. iOS 8.2 is pretty much empty. There's really no difference between this and 8.1.3. The only difference, noticeable difference, is in the Bluetooth application settings. You now have a choice to you know, download the Apple Watch app. The only purpose of 8.2 was to allow pairing with the Apple Watch. So, you know, we're not going to see any differences until the final release. But for now, you guys can enjoy a full untethered jailbreak on iOS 8.2 on any device. Now, this does work on any iPhone, including the 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 5, 4S, all the way down to all iPads and the iPod Touch 5th generation. If you guys are just stuck on 8.1.3 and you want a jailbreak, this is the perfect guide. Now, I've already had some people ask me, Will iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak tweaks work on 8.2? And the truth is, yes, they will. I've tested some and there's really no difference. They're all compatible. For the most part, it's exactly the same firmware. So there should not be any compatibility issues. Now, I would not do this if you're on 8.1.2 or any lower firmware because you're on a stable firmware with a stable jailbreak. There's really no reason to do this unless you're on 8.1.3. Now, the good thing about this is if you don't like it, you can always go back to 8.1.3. There's literally Literally no risk and of course you want to make sure to back up everything before attempting this but let me just show you guys I am on 8.2 right now and really there's no reason not to do this if you're on 8.1.3 and you want a jailbreak this is the perfect way to do it now this is Windows only at the moment a new version of Taiji was just released now if you want to know why to jailbreak I have a full video on that which you can click on up there but let me just show you this new tweak that I really like it's called Atom and it replaces your lock screen and gives you this thing so jailbreak is basically about customizing the uncustomizable. Bring customization. Make your device your very own. Customize it any way you like, and you can do that simply with a jailbreak. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here I have my device with iOS 8.1.3 currently installed. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that. That is the firmware. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to update to iOS 8.2, beta one or two, and then go ahead and jailbreak using a Windows computer. I'm just gonna update on Mac, it doesn't really matter. And just to let you know, iTunes 12.1.1 is compatible. So you don't need to worry about downgrading it or anything like that. So anyways, so the very first thing is to download two things. You're gonna need the firmware and you're gonna need the Taiji jailbreak, which I don't have pictured here. I'm gonna switch over to my Windows computer in a bit. And both links can be found here or down below in the description. So make sure to download both the IPSW compatible for your device. Remember, there is a difference between CDMA and GSM firmwares, and you can find out model numbers on the back of your device and download Taiji 1.3.0. And all the links can be found there or down below in the description. All right, so with iTunes open and your iOS 8.1.3 device plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and head over to check for update, hold option on a Mac if you're updating via Mac or shift on a Windows computer and left click check for update. Now just select the iOS 8.2 beta one or beta two update. I do recommend beta two because you know, the further along in the betas, the more stable they are, so why not? Now it does work with one or two anyways, go ahead and select open. It'll ask you to verify it and go ahead and select update. So this is a pre-activated beta firmware, so you don't need to worry about being locked out of it in the future or anything. It's perfectly safe. And then again, you guys can always go back to 8.1.3. And again, I do want to warn you guys, please back up all of your data. You want to make sure you're secured. You eliminate all risk before attempting this. Now, I think this is really awesome. For everybody that wanted a jailbreak, you can do so using this beta firmware. It's still very stable. And you guys can use this if you missed out on the 8.1.2 or lower jailbreaks. It's a really cool way to enjoy the jailbreak until the final 8.2 jailbreak is out. Anyways, so this is what you should be seeing. If you guys have any errors or stuff like that, you can always switch over to another computer, but I would first recommend restarting your device, checking your host's file, making sure that that's all intact and you can find all the details in the guide down below in the description. 
Now, once this is done, I will be right back. Okay, I have successfully updated to iOS 8.2. Let me go ahead and show you inside of settings that, there you go, iOS 8.2. And this is beta one that I'm running. Uh, it works on both beta one and beta two. Anyways, so you wanna go ahead and open up to IG version 1.3.0. Now, I would recommend right clicking it and running it as administrator. Go ahead and uh, select yes. And now Tai G will take a moment to locate your device. So it's gonna spin around here for a while. Okay, now a lot of you guys will be greeted with this. Now this is because your device is a little too old to handle the newest iTunes 12.1.1 and by device I mean computer. So there's a really simple fix for this. Down below in the description, I will also provide a link to where you can download a special version of iTunes for your device, which is for older video cards. Now all you guys need to do is go ahead and download that and install it over the current iTunes version you do have. And this is the newest version, no need for a downgrade or anything like that. Just download this special version of iTunes for your computer, run it, and once that is installed, when you go back to this, it will be just fine. Otherwise, you do get this red X and it does not let you proceed with a jailbreak. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and I will be right back. All right, so now that I've had iTunes with the older drivers supported installed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run Taiji again. And by the way, even if it's in Chinese, that's okay. You know, it still works the same, but anyways, there we go, so it has found my device. I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it and replug it in. Okay, cool. So here it is, my device has been accepted and uh, Taiji says it's okay to jailbreak. So there's a few things you need to do on your device before proceeding with this jailbreak. Uh, first off, uncheck this bottom one right here. That's for a uh, third party app store, which you do not need. Anyways, over to my device. Okay, so on your device, there's several things you need to do. First off, go into iCloud, sign out of iCloud, remove Find My iPhone. If you can't do that, it's no big deal. However, it does help with the success of the jailbreak. Also go into Touch ID and Passcode and remove any passcode, any Touch ID there is. And of course, you can enable those after the jailbreak, but for now, we just want them off. Anyways, enable airplane mode, which I do have on, disable all connections, and if you guys have a lot of stuff on your device, like it's packed to the brim, make sure to remove a little bit. Just free up some space, it does help with the success rate. Anyways, we are ready to jailbreak. Okay, so back in Taiji, just go ahead and click that big blue icon, even though it's in Chinese, you know, it's still okay, and the jailbreak process will begin. So I really hope that this in no way removes the possibility of a jailbreak in the future for the public release of 8.2. I didn't really do any research into that, but I really hope a jailbreak is available for the final public release. Otherwise, this is a nice way to enjoy a jailbreak if you have updated 8.1.3. Once this does complete, Hopefully I do have Cydia running on my iOS 8.2 firmware. Now, the one thing I wanna warn you guys about is do not update to a newer version of 8.2 because this only works on the first and second betas. If you do update, a jailbreak will no longer be possible. You'll have to repeat this entire process. So once this is done, I will be right back. All right, so my device has restarted and let's hope Cydia is there. Cool, so Cydia is enabled. So you can go ahead and sign back into iCloud, put your Touch ID passcode back on, connect to Wi-Fi, of course, and open up Cydia. So in here, it's gonna prepare the file system. So this is gonna take a few minutes, you know, to prepare everything initially. Once that's done, I'll be right back. All right, so my device has just resprung, and now when I open up Cydia, it's all ready. So there's not gonna be anything in here until you go into the middle tab and hit refresh and now it's gonna download all of the packages. So far, I haven't noticed any incompatibility issues, so you guys should be good. It's a pretty stable firmware, especially if you're on beta two, so you should have no issues. Updates, make sure to update right away. And you guys are jailbroken on iOS 8.2. It's really incredible that this is possible, but again, I do hope this in no way influences the future of the iOS 8.2 jailbreak. Just to show you guys in settings, general, about I am running the latest 8.2 firmware, and I do have Cydia. So this is amazing news, guys. Who cares about an 8.1.3 jailbreak when we have this on 8.2? Anyways, if you guys want to know what to do after jailbreaking iOS 8.2, I have tons of videos on my channel. Check them out. They all work. They were compatible with 8.1.2, but they do also work on iOS 8.2 as well. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoy the jailbreak and all of the awesome, cool things you can do with it. Have a great day. Peace.